Hi all, it's Rio Cloud Sync. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at the integration between Microsoft 365 Defender for Endpoint and Microsoft Intune as a service, also known as Microsoft Endpoint Manager as a mobile device management application or service. We'll be highlighting how to enable Microsoft Defender for Endpoint for your tenancy, as well as the associated prerequisites. We'll look at onboarding of devices running from Windows, Android, iOS, iPadOS, and Windows 10 and 11. Using compliant policies to set device risk levels, as well as integrating that with additional access policies. And we'll also touch upon app protection policies and risk levels within there. So before we start and we configure your environment, we need to look at the initial prerequisites from a licensing perspective, as well as a role perspective. From a licensing perspective, we either need the Defender for Endpoint Plan 1 or Plan 2, standalone SKU, or we can use one of the business or enterprise SKUs. It doesn't matter. In terms of initiating the connection between the Intune service and Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, or vice versa, the principle remains the same. We could also use an alternative onboarding method, either through the likes of SCCM, which is System Center Configuration Manager, or Group Policy or we can onboard one of the servers through the likes of Defender for Cloud. The other prerequisite is permissions. We need either global admin, security admin, or one of the relevant role-based access control roles, which Defender natively gives us. You can scroll down the left-hand pane, and you can select permissions, and you can either use Azure AD roles, which is the global admin, security ad admin, etc. Or we can select one of the Microsoft 365 Defender roles. When you select Microsoft 365 Defender permissions, the page will load. You can then create a custom role. Select test, put time being. You'll then be able to check your, select your permission type or permission set and assign that to either a user or a security group. The primary focus of today is to set up the, the configuration between the Intune service and Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So that's what we're going to do. So once you've got those prerequisites in place and you've deciphered whether or not to use the role based access control roles or Azure AD roles, you can then scroll down to settings. Under settings, you can select endpoints. You'll see a tab here for general, advanced features. And this is where you start making organizational changes through the toggles on and off. You can turn on the likes of tamper protection. Okay. Stop unwanted changes. Enable, enable ASR rules. Provide an extra layer of protection off the back of your already um, deployed antivirus solution, which is enable EDR in block mode. There's also a setting for Office 365 for intelligence connection, which is just the built-in behavioral analytics. This is now built in by default and you don't have to turn this to an on state. However, you may still receive a policy tip which says you cannot turn on feature, this requires a relevant licensing. I can tell you now this, this tendency has a Microsoft 365 E5 licensing, so it definitely meets the prerequisite in terms of threat intelligence. I've had this raised with Microsoft support and I've also spoke to the product, product engineering team and they've advised, yeah, this is a legacy toggle, uh, please ignore this. You can turn on web content filtering, dev device discovery for Defender for Cloud apps, and you should see a toggle for Microsoft Intune connection. This was a previously set up tenancy, but by default this will be set to off. You want to toggle this to on by selecting here. And this will connect your Defender for Endpoint console to Microsoft Engine. So this is only 50% of the configuration. Once you've selected that toggle here, you do need to access endpoint.microsoft.com, which is your Microsoft Engine service. I've already got one device which is onboarded into this tenancy. However, when you do access endpoint.microsoft.com, you can select Endpoint Security down the left-hand pane. You can scroll down to where you see Setup and you see Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. And this is where you would do that second half of enabling the connection. So this one's already enabled and this is an enabled state in terms of connection status. However, by default, I would say disabled. 
you would ha then have an option at the top to enable. You select enable, you then press save. Okay. Once you've selected that, you have a green tick which says, okay, the connection is stable and it's enabled from both perspectives. You can also enable additional features in terms of compliance. So we we'll allude back to setting device risk levels for both compliance policies as well as our protection policies. You can, you can enable this through the compliance policy evaluation settings. Other than that, there's only one more one more step, and that's to deploy the configuration profile to the end, end clients to, to configure the sensor and deploy the sensor to the machine. You can scroll down to the bottom of the page. And you have an option here to create a device configuration profile to configure Microsoft Defender for endpoint sensor. Or you could do this from endpoint detection and response on the left-hand side. It's quite straightforward. You just press create a device configuration profile. I'm just going to type test here. Give it a description if needs be. It will be Windows 10 later for this one. And there's only two settings. Block sample sharing for all files. Or expedite telemetry reporting frequency. One of them returns or sets to Microsoft Defender for endpoint sample sharing configuration parameter. And the other for devices that are at high risk. Uh, reports telemetry to Microsoft Defender for endpoint uh, service more frequently than the default poll. Once you set those um, levels, you can then skip to scope tags, assignment, select either a security group or users of all devices, review and create. Once that's deployed, you then have a high level dashboard here in terms of how many, how many devices have um, successfully installed the, the sensor. You can then go back to endpoints, scroll up to devices, you then see the relevant device onboarded to the Defender for Endpoint console through the likes of Microsoft Intune as a service. Thank you. If you have any questions, please do let me know. I'm more than happy to answer them.